गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस आवर सेवेंथ यूनिट फिजियोलॉजी एंड इंजरी इन स्पोर्ट्स फिजियोलॉजी मीन्स द स्टडी ऑफ ह्यूमन बॉडी फंक्शन एंड इट्स इफेक्ट इन फिजियोलॉजी वी स्टडी हाउ द डिफरेंट पार्ट्स और द ऑर्गन्स ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिजम फंक्शन विद द हेल्प ऑफ रेगुलर एक्सरसाइज वी कैन इम्प्रूव आवर फिजियोलॉजिकल फंक्शनिंग एंड therefore the efficiency of the body can be improved through uh, physical activity if we do physical exercise our physiological functioning of an organs will be improved let's discuss some physiological factors endurance flexibility coordinative ability etc the first is physiological factors determining endurance endurance means the ability of an individual to do any activity for long period of time or it is the ability to do activity under the condition of fatigue there are two types of endurance aerobic endurance and anaerobic endurance aerobic endurance means ability aerobic aerobic means in the presence of oxygen so endurance means doing the activity for long period with fast speed and anaerobics uh, and uh, aerobics aerobics means doing the activity in the presence of oxygen so aerobics endurance in aerobics endurance the person do activity for long period with a slow speed and in anaerobic endurance anaerobic means in absence of oxygen so an aerobics endurance means doing the activity for long period with fast speed and factors determining endurance the first is maximum oxygen uptake oxygen uptake means uh, highest rate at which the oxygen can be taken up and consumed by the body during exercise okay oxygen uptake means the rate at which the oxygen can be taken up and used by the muscles during the exercise so uh, with the help of physical exercise if the person do a physical activity his maximum oxygen uptake capacity will be improved next is next is pulmonary deficiency pulmonary deficiency means absence of oxygen and carbon dioxide which means lungs and the blood okay means absence of oxygen uh, absence of oxygen and carbon dioxide between lungs and blood if the if the person's pulmonary deficiency is more then his endurance will be more okay with the help of physical activity the pulmonary deficiency can be improved and if the person's pulmonary deficiency is more he will have more endurance cardiac output cardiac output means ability to do an activity um, a cardiac a cardiac output cardiac output means the ability of the heart to pump out blood in one minute so cardiac output if the cardiac outputs improve cardiac output help to circulate blood to the walking tissue thus endurance is enhanced if the person has um if the person's cardiac in uh, cardiac output improve if the cardiac output improve then more blood is pump out for the walking tissue that will be the uh, more circulation of blood therefore the endurance will be improved aerobic capacity aerobic capacity means ability capacity of an individual to work for long durations with slow speed this ability improve with regular exercise aerobic means presence of oxygen aerobic capacity if the person do a activity for long period doing the activity for long period with the slow speed then his um 
endurance will be improved lactic threshold lactic threshold means ability to tolerate the lactic acid in the blood when we do physical exercise lactic acids produce which leads to fatigue if the person has the ability to tolerate lactic acids his endurance will be improved and therefore there is delay in fatigue and tiredness blood volume and flow endurance we need sufficient amount of oxygen and nutrients which are transported by the the regular exercise regular training increase the hemoglobin in the red blood cells and increase blood plasma by which endurance is boosted red muscle fibers the red in our body there are in our blood there are two muscle fibers red muscle fibers and white muscle fibers red muscle fibers means slow twist muscle fibers so red muscle fibers carry more oxygen thus help for endurance activity higher the percentage of red muscle fibers higher will be the endurance if the persons have more red blood cells means he will have more endurance hydration endurance activity cause sweating loss of important minerals therefore the sufficient amount of water is required which helps to improve endurance if the person is if the person is hydrated then his endurance will be improved physiological factors determining strength strength means the ability to resist fatigue ability to resist okay strength means the ability to resist or ability to overcome resistance resistance is the opposite force so ability to overcome the resistance strength is of two type static strength and dynamic strength static strength means static means fix there is no movement so static strength means ability to overcome the resistance uh, uh, ability to overcome the resistance without movement from a fixed point and dynamic dynamic means motion so ability to overcome the resistance while in motion and there are three types of a uh, dynamic strain that is muscular strain explosive strain and strain endurance maximal strain means ability to overcome maximum resistance you have to overcome maximum resistance for example in weight lifting explosive strain explosive strain means ability to overcome the resistance with a uh, with fast speed you have to overcome the resistance with fast speed for example in jumping throwing strain endurance strain endurance means ability to overcome the resistance under the condition of fatigue you are in the condition of fatigue then also you have to overcome the resistance let's discuss physiological factors what are the physiological factors determining strength first is muscle covering sarcolemma means size of the muscle if the muscle fibers muscle fiber covering sarco sarcolemma bind the muscle fibers to work muscles if the sarcolemma covering uh, increase sarcolemma uh, covering increase the muscle cross sections area then helps in strength composition white muscle fibers white muscle fibers means fast twist muscle fibers fast fast twist muscle fibers helps in fast contraction therefore the person who have white muscle fibers they have more connective tissue okay and they they bring fast and strong contraction greater the percentage of white muscle fibers greater is the explosive strength means strength muscular contraction muscular contraction it's of two type concentric and eccentric concentric means upward movement means uh, contractions of flexor muscle in concentric there is a contraction in flexor muscle for example upward movement 
means double double upward movement of your hand and eccentric eccentric means your flexor muscle there will be the relaxation to a to your flexor muscle for example your downward movement of your hand if the muscular contraction um it regulate our muscle actions in controlled manners so if the persons have better muscular contractions then he will have more strength muscle length the persons who have long muscles they have more strength as compared to the persons who have small muscle nerve impulse if the nerve impulse uh, nerve impulse help in the uh, transformation uh, transfer uh, transforming the masses from the brain to the skeletal muscles if the nerve impulse uh, if the nerve impulse improve means strong nerve impulse then there will be the powerful contraction of the muscles therefore higher is the strength means neuromuscular response if the neuromuscular response is greater there will be the more strength because the muscle contract uh, fast there will be the powerful contraction of the muscle adequate energy muscular contractions need sufficient energy okay adequate energy means muscular energy needs sufficient energy therefore the persons who have greater mitochondria in the muscle fibers mitochondria help in the uh, transformations of chemical into energy therefore greater the number of mitochondria in the muscle fibers means there will be the more productions of energy and there will be the strong and longer muscular contractions therefore the person have more strength age strength of the muscle is also depend upon age as the age and the age between 20 to 40 years years and have more strength genders usually male have more strength as compared to female body weight body weight if the person the persons who are uh, heavy they have more strength as compared to the others who have lean and thin myoglobin myoglobin it is a types of protein myoglobin is a protein present in muscle fibers to store the oxygen which produce energy during the emergency myoglobin help in the production of energy during the em emergency higher the myoglobin means there will be the more strength next is physiological factors physiological factors determining speed speed means ability to do the work as fast as possible means ability to do work with a minimum possible time doing the work with fast speed with a minimum possible time there are uh, types of uh, speed reaction time reaction time means ability to react immediately to a signal acceleration means ability to reach maximum speed means how fast you can achieve your maximum speed speed of movements means ability to maintain maximum speed and speed speed is also depend of depend upon strain endurance flexibility coordinative ability usually the person who have more strain endurance flexibility and coordinative ability he will have more speed fast twist muscle fibers fast twist muscle fibers means white muscle fibers the persons who have greater percentage of fast twist muscle fibers he will have more speed fast twist muscle fibers help in fast contraction of the muscles therefore there will be the uh, fast contraction of muscles and the speed improve neuromuscular response if the neuromuscular response is higher then that will be the faster and stronger in the muscle contraction
means the muscle contract fast if the neuromuscular response is higher. Flexibility. Higher the flexibility, more is the range of movement. Thus, his speed is, uh, thus, the, thus the person have more speed. If the person's flexibility, if the person's have more flexibility, then there will, uh, then the joint, uh, then there will be the more flexibility in the joint. Okay, more flexibility in the, um, flexibility in the joint. Okay, if the person have more flexibility, flexibility means there will be the more flexibility in the joint. Therefore, his speed will be uh, greater. ATP, energy store, adenosine triphosphate. Greater the ATP energy store, faster is the energy release for the uh, speedy or anaerobics activity. ATP helps to provide energy. Anaerobic capacity. Anaerobic means ability to do activity in the absence of oxygen. If the person anaerobic capacity is more, then his speed will be more. Anaerobic capacity improve the speed ability of an individual. Next is physiological factors determining flexibility. Physiological factors determining flexibility. Flexibility is the ability of joint to move in maximum range or it is the ability of joint uh, to stretch. Um, stretching of joint. Okay? Flexibility means ability to stretch your joint maximum. Stretching your, uh, stretching your joint to a maximum range. Flexibility is of two types. Passive flexibility and active flexibility passive flexibility means ability uh, ability to stretch your joint with the help of partners active flexibility flexibility means ability to stretch your joint to its maximum range without the help of without the external source without the external help Physiological factors determining flexibility like joint articulation means the joint structures or articulations. Articulation is between the joint. So, it's the main factors for flexibility. Ligament elas elas uh, elasticity. Ligament is a connective tissue that connect bones to bones. If the ligament elasticity if the ligament is elasticity, uh, then his flexible will be more. Greater is the flexibility. If uh, if the ligament is uh, elas elasticity of ligament, there will be the greater flexibility. Muscle stress. Higher the muscle stretchability. If the muscle stretchability is higher, if the muscle stress is higher, then the range of joint movement okay there will be the greater uh, range of uh, greater range of joint movement thus the flexibility will be more if the muscle stretchability is high there will be the less pain over the joint therefore the flexibility will be more disease or injury if the person's um, if the person is not affected by any disease or energy, his flexibility will be more. Age. The children have more flexibles than the adults as well as okay, children. Usually the children have more flexibility. Genders. Females have more flexibility. They are more flexible body the, uh, as compared to male. Warming up. If the perform do warming up, then his flexibility will be improved. Heredity. Heredity is also uh, related with the flexibility. As uh, flexibility is joint structures and is articulation is related to heredity. It is gained from the parents, parent genes. Therefore, 
this flexibility is also depend upon heredity next is effect of exercise on cardio respiratory system what are the effect of exercise on cardio respiratory system so cardio respiratory system cardio respiratory system it's a combination of circulatory and respiratory system it's help to provide oxygen rich blood to the working muscles okay cardio respiratory systems helps to provide oxygen rich blood to the working muscles this oxygenated rich um, oxygenated rich blood uh, rich to the working muscles through which through the blood vessels and it's help to provide energy during the exercise okay cardio respiratory systems it's a combinations of circulatory system and respiratory system circulatory system help in the circulation of blood respiratory system in respiratory system it's a breathing helps in breathing so cardio respiratory systems helps to provide oxygenated blood to the working muscle this oxygenated rich blood rich to the working muscles through the blood vessels and it helps to provide energy during the exercise this oxygenated rich blood helps to provide energy effect of exercise what are the effect of exercise on cardio respiratory system the first is hypertrophy of the heart if we do the exercise the hypertrophy of the heart means the size the enlargement of the heart the size of the heart uh, there will be the increase in the size of the heart therefore there will be the increase in stroke volume stroke volume means the amount of blood pumped out by the heart per beat so if the size of the heart improve there will be the increase in the stroke volume therefore more blood is pumped out by the heart increase in cardiac output cardiac output is the amount of blood pump out in 1 minute therefore with a with regular training the cardiac output will be improved therefore more blood is pump out by the heart for the working tissue resting pulse increase with increase cardiac output the patient's heart rate decrease thus the resting time of the heart increase therefore heart is not stressed heart will not feel stress during the normal work because his resting time will be increase faster adaptions to the working load if we perform uh, if we perform exercise if we perform exercise the heart uh, the heart will adjust uh the heart will adjust according to the needs of the body there will be the quick adjustment of the heart according to the need if the persons do a proper training the heart is adjust to the working load quickly normal to return pulse quickly our pulse rate or the heart rate returns to normal uh, normal levels quickly after the exercise if we do exercise our heart rate pulse rate increase if we do exercise with the help of proper training the returning of normal pulse rate will be improved increase in hemoglobin regular training help to increase the hemoglobin in the blood that is in the red blood cells hemoglobin helps to hemoglobin rich blood carry more oxygen nutrients etc thus improve the energy flow if the uh, hemoglobin in the blood is improved then the energy flow will be more decrease in blood vis viscosity means density if the blood viscosity decrease means density of blood decrease then the plasma contained in the blood increase therefore there will be the fast and easy flow of blood through the capillaries moreover the circulation of the blood in the body will be faster 
respiratory muscles become strong the respiratory muscles become strong to work maximally for long duration with the helps of doing stressful activity if we do stress activity our respiratory muscles become strong increase this number of alveoli and pulmonary diffusion pulmonary diffusions help in the um, actions of oxygen and carbon dioxide and alveoli with true regular training the number of alveoli increase alveoli helps to purify the blood thus the efficiency of respiratory system will be improved there will be the uh, fast removals of carbon dioxide and oxygen is attached to the blood maximum oxygen uptake ability increase oxygen uptake ability increase oxygen uptake means ability uh, ability to consume blood ability to consume oxygen from the blood uh, so oxygen uptake amount of oxygen which can be consumed by the working muscles for from the blood the with the help of exercise the maximum oxygen uptake ability increase therefore maximum amount of oxygen is utilized by the body during exercise therefore more oxygen is reached to the working tissue for the productions of energy during the stressful activity oxygen help in productions of energy new capillaries are formed regular exercise develop new capillaries this bring more blood to the working tissue capillaries the efficiency of the muscle improve increase in tidal volume tidal volume is the volume of air inhale or exhale during normal breathing okay A amount of the volume of air inhale or excess during normal breathing and vital capacity means the maximum amount of air exhale after a deep inspiration okay deep inspiration lene ke baad maximum amount of air exhale karna and with the help of regular exercise the tidal volume and vital capacity of the lungs increase by bit more oxygen is worked to the working tissue if more oxygen is worked to the working tissue there will be the more energy production chemical composition in the blood regular exercise improve the chemical composition in the blood like plasma red blood cells white blood cells um this etc therefore the quality of the blood improve faster removal of waste with the help of regular exercise effect of exercise with the help of regular exercise there will be the faster removal of waste from the body uh, therefore there is a better defense against the disease germs etc if the there is fast removal of waste from the body reduction in cardiac problem cardiac problems means heart problems like heart attack uh, heart disease etc with the help of regular exercise there will be the reductions in cardiac problems blood pressure regulation a well balanced blood pressure is maintained with regular exercise more uh, proper body temperatures is regained through the body faster healing with regular exercise the uh, with regular exercise there will be a uh, increase regular exercise help to increase uh, circulation of the blood there will be more circulation of blood therefore there will be the faster healing from the recovery if there is more circulation of blood there will be the fast healing or fast recovery from the injury resistance power increase through exercise the resistance power means immunization system improve okay your immune systems means ability uh, ability to 
फाइट अगेंस्ट डिजीज ठीक है एबिलिटी टू डिफेंस अगेंस्ट डिसीज सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ एक्सरसाइज द रेसिस्टेंस पावर मीन्स इम्यून सिस्टम्स इम्प्रूव दे फोर द हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम्स लाइक कोल्ड कफ अस्थमा एक्सेट्रा कैन बी प्रिवेंटेड इंक्रीज इन एरोबिक इंडोरेंस एरोबिक इंडोरेंस मीन्स लेस अमाउंट ऑफ लैक्टिक एसिड्स इज प्रोड्यूस दे फोर फैटिक इज डिले हैंड इंडोरेंस इज इम्प्रूव इफ यू डू अ रेगुलर एक्सरसाइज योर एरोबिक इंडोरेंस मीन्स एरोबिक मीन्स एबिलिटी टू डू एक्टिविटी इन द प्रेजेंट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन प्रेजेंट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन में काम करने की क्षमता इम्प्रूव देर विल बी द इम्प्रूव देर फोर द फैटिक विल बी डिले देर विल बी द डिले इन फैटिक दिस लीड्स टू इम्प्रूव इन इंडोरेंस मेटाबोलिक सिस्टम मेटाबोलिक सिस्टम्स इन अ ट्रेन पर्सन द मेटाबोलिक रिएक्शंस आर फास्टर्स फॉर एनर्जी प्रोडक्शंस विथ लेस कंजप्शन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन्स इफ मेटाबोलिक इफ द मेटाबोलिक सिस्टम इम्प्रूव देन द एनर्जी प्रोडक्शन विल बी मोर विथ लेस कंजप्शन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन्स ठीक है कम ऑक्सीजन कंजम करने से ही वी कैन प्रोड्यूस मोर एनर्जी हाइड्रो बैलेंस इन द ब्लड इन द बॉडी हाइड्रो वाटर्स और हाइड्रो बैलेंस इन द बॉडी इज मेंटेन थ्रू थ्रू एक्सरसाइज दस डिहाइड्रेशन कैन बी डिले ठीक है द हाइड्रो बैलेंस ठीक है हाइड्रो बैलेंस इज मेंटेन देर फोर देर विल बी द डिले इन डिहाइड्रेशन when we are doing activity